Hello. Okay, so there's a lot of caveats to what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out a whole way, there's several issues to do this. I'm, so I'm just going to present what I have. Because I think there is something there, I just can't get it complete, I'm not good enough. Also, in this video I'm going to be using slow time, I'm going to be using uh, macros that are not the, the standard macro. Uh, but all of it should just be tools to make it easier, not really to make it uh, different. So the first thing, this is very simple, this is not the point. The, the whole point here is skipping the first few fights of the, of the level of Exultia. Um, and still get the rune and the blood punch, which is kind of the difficult part by going out of bounds. That's the main point. But I'm gonna say a few things first. So the first thing, I'm gonna do this with slow time because it's much easier for me to do it with slow time. But I'm fairly sure this can be doing, this can be done without slow time for least. You can do this thing here where you do a, a, a slow push bunny hop. See if I get it. Ah, oh, did get it. Hold on. So I'm gonna be resting and so on. I just don't have the consistency to do this on one try. Others might. So uh, you can do a, a slow push bunny hop here that not just gives you a lot of speed, but that also allows you to actually skip a small part, which would be a problem with the normal rod, but it's not with the rod that I'm gonna suggest. There you go. I think that's high enough. Yeah. So if you go high enough, you can go clip through the um, geometry here. And then you go here, and you can. Uh, I went too far. You know, if you do it better, it's better. So basically, you're now on an um, invisible wall above the level. But if you go here, there's a death plane, which ideally you hit as you come, right? Which leads you to here. So that would be, if you do that from the bunny hop, that would be a very quick way to get all the way here. The problem is, as you can see, that the fight is not triggered. But that's not. A big issue because of what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna disable the slowdown. So what you can do now is get up there, which should be easy. I haven't actually tried how to do that, but there's so many uh, slow boosting spots here, so that should be fairly easy, probably. I mean, I haven't, I haven't investigated the specific details of how to do this one, but I know this one can be done. Maybe from here. Let me try. Hold on. I mean, if I don't get one, I'm gonna pass on this because there's also other spots that I don't know the details of how to do. I just know it, it theory could be done. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just pass. So I'm gonna trigger infinite double jumps. The point is, you wanna get enough height here. Wait, what's this? Just change. Okay, I think I'm, I didn't understand it properly. Get enough height here to get through here. Wait, what am I doing? This is not what I was expecting. Hold on. Am I using the wrong window? Is it this window? I'm supposed to be able to go out of bounds here. That, that's it. Okay, so it seems like you need to get that mantle there. So you can probably actually do it without infinite jumps. <sighs> If you do it properly, so maybe here. You can get here, see. Yeah, so that was without if it jumps, and then you want to fall here. I think I'm doing it right. Let me see if I can. So there's a way that you can fall here. Fuck. See, that's, that's the problem with me. That's why I don't do these things normally because I, I can't get all the details. There's so many details. I just know. I just care about whether you can or not. Let's get infinite double jumps. Okay, so let's get out again. So I'm here. <sighs> so I'm gonna save this position. Oh my god. Okay, so no clip. Just get here. Oh, come on. I'm so bad at this game. Get here, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Save this position, then try to go out of bounds. Ah, come on. Hold on. 
Thing is smart. Oh, come on. I know there is a path here, but I have forgotten now how it is. Ah, there it is. You have to go more to the... Okay. More to the right. So... Get out of bounds. Get inside. To the right. That's it. And fall. But not fall so much. So, get out of bounds. To the, to the right. And then... Full. I think I had it there. I had it. Oh, come on. What the hell? Get out of bounds. Jesus Christ. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. To the right. Fall here. Then stay here. Yeah, and now go this way. You can't see. I think I'm stuck. But if you go this way, there should be. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hold on, let me see. Oh no, fuck, I'm doing it wrong, I think. No, 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 I know, I know what I want, yeah. So, you wanna get out of bounds? <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, imagine doing this in a run. I'm just very bad. Other people are much better at these things. Then get here, and what you wanna do is go this way. I think this might be the way. Yes, that's what I wanted. So, land here. Right, so you need to go through the walls to end up here. So you go here, and this is great, this is amazing, but this doesn't go all the way, so it ends about here. So I, I can show you. I'm going to save my position here. If you keep going, you fall here, right? But what you can do, so the thing is, let's trigger anything that jumps for a second. The rune is here, okay? And the trick is, so if we go back here and actually go back here, if I mean this is gonna take several times for me, but if you get um, a good bunny hop here, you can do the following. So you start like that and you go like and you try to get a bunny hop. Uh, that was alright, but not too good. The point is you try to get a bunny hop to get some speed. No, that was didn't work. Mm hmm. Get only hope to be, get close enough to the room, basically. I know you can do it. I've done it, done it before, so it's possible to get close enough for what I'm gonna show you now. <sighs> yeah. Let's see if I can at least get the. Yes, yeah, probably not close enough. It's easier for me if I do the um, with slow time. So now I can show you what I mean. Still not gonna get it full first attempt, but you get a bunny hop in the direction of the room, on the rune, sorry. And now I think I have enough speed. I'm always obviously slowed down, but that doesn't change the logic. So you wanna get around here near the rune, and then is the final trick, which is that you can interact with the rune through the wall by using the precision bolt scope and uh, spamming interact. Which I think it's what a standard grab is, but it's standard grab through the wall. I've got it multiple times, but of course you have to do it while falling. Uh, I don't know you could see, but there, there was you, you, I got the prompt there, so I was very close to getting it. It's gonna keep doing it until it works once, just so you see it. Of course, doing all of this in a run is way beyond my skill level, but. I'm just doing science here. It tends to work better if you aim below low. So on the I, f I find that it works more if you aim for the lower part of the rune. Not too far. I mean, this is not even the end. Because then you have to get the blood punch, but I'm going to show you that as well. Or at least an idea of how to do it. I don't have a full plan on how to do it. So far all of this is theoretically doable in a run. I don't think I would be able to do it in a run, but maybe someone else can. I'm getting better setups. I'm not good at getting setups. I'm good at finding whether something is possible or not. Oh. 
Oh well, good. I'm decent, I guess. Uh, is this close enough? I don't know. I think too far. Let's see. I'm gonna try without slow down just because then I can try more quickly. That is harder for me to get the accelerating bunny hop that I need without the slowdown. Mainly because I'm at 60 FPS, so then the, the macro they have is not tailored for 60 FPS at um, without the slowdown. Let's see. Nothing that doesn't work. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, uh, this is uh, a thing. I know you can do it with a bunny hop. I did it earlier. I wasn't recording. But I can show you the rune anyway with uh, infinite double jumps. Just give me a second. Nah, this is not going to work. So I'm going to do it. So anyway, you're going to end up around here. right? I'm using infinite double jumps to stand there now. And then if you go here, you can... I got the prom there, but I didn't... Uh, again, so got the prom there. There you go. Just to show that you can do it. And I've done it before with the bunny hop. But it takes a lot of... Why is this? That is so weird. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Not sure what that was, but it's fine. <sighs> anyway, so you get the rune from out of Vance and that leaves you in bounds and that's the main trick now we have the rune we haven't done any of the fights before and now you can go back up because what you need is a black punch you also get the extra life here which i know the unrestricted less to get the, the extra life at the beginning of the level that i didn't but you can get this one instead and then the point is and i haven't been able to find a way to do it even with the slow boost that you can do here but the the, the, the ceiling is just annoying but here exactly here is the only place that you can do it if you can't get high enough, I'm doing it with infinite double jumps now, you can clip through the floor. I can do that again. It's very easy with infinite double jumps, you just need to... So if I just go up, it doesn't work. What I need is to go forward so that to trigger the mantle. And then you're inside. And I'm not sure why this isn't open actually. This was open before when I did it earlier. I'm not sure what changed. Maybe this? Yeah. So it seems like you need to go around there. I think I, I was there probably before. But anyway, you can come back here and get the blood punch. And then you can continue level normally. Now, I have no idea. Even if this worked perfectly, I have no idea if it would be worth it in time. I don't know how feasible this is in an actual run. Even for a, ta uh, a two assisted run, it's pretty difficult. But in a two assisted run, it can be attempted. But then you can continue level normally. Uh, I guess one last thing I'll show is that another alternative that I considered, but I, I couldn't find a, a good way to use it. From here, I don't know how to reach it. You would need a pretty solid bunny hop. But if you could reach it, you could get to... Is it here? Yeah, this room. You can clip into this room from outside, as you saw. And then you can come back here. Uh, and then you can actually... I tried this earlier as well. The So this... This door here would be closed if you came from, from that way. But you can uh, grab the rune through this wall as well, using the same trick. I did that before. And that would be way easier, by the way, because you have ground, so you're not doing it while falling, so you would be able to just stand here. The problem with that is I don't know how to um, get to that room just with a bunny hop, like this one here. I, I never get far enough. But if you can do it, you can go here, go here, and then come up here. Come to this wall, grab the rune through the wall, and then you would be here, the, the wall would open, the monkey bar would appear, and you can go back and get the blood punch, like I said, just uh, over here, jump, and go in. You'd need to trigger the something to open that wall, which I think is just going down that way. So yeah, it's kind of convoluted, but it's something, and I, I think in any percent this is a room that 
people have always wanted to get in without having to do the fight outside, so I don't know. Maybe there's something here. <laughs>